Okay, got it? Therefore, what I can claim now is the following. If I know the response due to this excitation, then, then, because this general force can be expressed by the superposition of those rectangular box type excitation, and I do know the response due to this box excitation, and having mind that this system is a linear system, and I can get the response of the whole, I mean, this general excitation would be superposition of those responses. Everybody agree, eh? It's simple. Physically simple. Conceptually simple. Now, it's getting warm. Now, what would be the next step? We have to express what we what we understood mathematically. Because because what we learned conceptually is sort of rough understanding. We want to know precisely what what really can we, what we can do. So, let's do it mathematically. Okay, say this f hat is f delta t. f is the force magnitude at time t. Okay. This is F. And F, therefore, is impulse. You know, you remember that principle of imp impulse and momentum? Okay. Impulse is a force time, force times time duration. That is the impulse. And the impulse would introduce change of momentum. That's what you learned in dynamics. So change of momentum. Where is Kim Sung Hoon? Okay. And the initial momentum just before I apply the impulse is zero because this one was at the rest. And just after I apply the force, that is m v zero plus just before is zero. Okay. Therefore, initial velocity has to be f hat divided by m. Right. So now the problem is when I have impulse. Meaning that I am giving the initial velocity to the mass spring dashboard system. The response I can get is this. Right? Okay. What if 
of the head is zero. Then the response I will get would be like I think there must be Oh boy. Okay, M omega D. Okay. Oh. oh, that is correct. Oh, this is correct. And F equals zero, then we know that V zero equal F over M. Therefore, we can write this is M omega D exponential minus zeta omega N T sine omega D T. Okay. When I apply this force at t equal zero, okay, I apply the impulse at t equal zero, then the response would look like this. And the magnitude of impulse is one. Okay? What if the magnitude of impulse is f hat? Because this system is linear, the response would be simply f times divided by m omega d exponential minus zeta omega n blah, 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 blah. Okay? What if I have the force applied at tau and the magnitude is f? Then the response would be f, this one, Instead of t, the response would start at tau. Right? Okay. So let's call this h t that we call impulse response. Okay, we are introducing very important function, h of t, impulse response, simply meaning that the response is due to unit impulse. Unit impulse simply means that f hat is what? Okay? So now, 